So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this post-match press conference with Team Argentina. To my far right, we have Coach Michael Checker, and to my immediate right, Captain Julian Montoya. Please, as usual, do wait for the microphone. We have simultaneous interpretation uh, into English, French, and Spanish, and it would be helpful if you could just introduce yourself. We'll start at the front with Frankie, please. Thank you. Buenas noches, Frankie de Laranés. De todos los escenarios posibles, de todo lo que pensaron este partido, se imaginaron que podía ser así. Eh, así, ¿en qué senso? Así, no pudiendo ganarlo, no pudiendo encontrar. No possible scenarios in this type of games it means that it's a kind of game where you didn't manage to take advantage of the superiority, the number of players on superiority through the, the, whole, the whole game. Well, what happened is that we wanted to take the game in our hands and our mistakes show that we didn't manage to be physically on the side of the pitch. We didn't manage to have so many, as many opportunities as we wanted to in the pitch, so the penalties were starting to get accumulated and the score was uh, rising up. And those six uh, drops, the six uh, kickballs made us impossible to manage the different uh, stop situations. England played well. We didn't know how to change uh, the rhythm throughout the whole game, mainly because of our mistakes and our own mistakes. Michael, I'd like to, answer, to ask you the situation regarding uh, Julian's uh, injury. What was the, the main problem in this, in this game? It was not, uh, it's not clear exactly what kind of uh, injury, it's an uh, injury on the ribs, but we don't know how, how big is the, the injury. Regarding the fixed situations, I think we wanted to uh, extend the lines on the, on the, on the field, I think, when the, the mall were installed, we made a lot of mistakes, but I think we have to recognize um, the value of the, the English team. They played very well, and the situation was difficult for us. It was hard for us to, to play the game. Michael. What uh, are the positive aspects you are taking from that game Look, the, to, no to keep on working for next week? So I think maybe the positive that we can take from that game is we're not, not going to, to make huge modifications in our preparation. But I think, as I already said, we cannot only wait for the opportunities to, to come from nothing. We have to create our own opportunities. The, the the world is uh, keep moving on. We have the opportunity to change the situations throughout uh, next games. For some of us, it's not the first World Cup, so we all know that we need, we need some continuity, so we are not going to modify, change our preparation. 
vos la misma, un concepto de cada uno. My question is to both of both of you. It's a start of this World Cup. What happened, really? Because from the outside, we can see that it was a team with not so many varieties, not many changes, a lot of mistakes in the, the passes, lack of directions. What 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 happened, really? Yeah, that's right. We made a lot of mistakes. That uh, we, we paid the price of those mistakes. And in my own experience, we made some mistake, some mistakes, and forced mistakes due to a lack of concentration in the important moments. Regarding those uh, mistakes, the mistakes, it's a different story. But uh, we are talking a lot about the unfor unforced mistakes that uh, we did in this game today. We worked a lot on the concentration and the, on the focus to have in the different actions. And I think our team really focused on the important part of the game during the preparation uh, phases. But uh, it's still always still a different thing to uh, to do that on the field on the pitch. We clearly lack lacked uh, concentration. But as a coach, one needs to uh, be able to apply what we did during the training sessions. So we'll need to have a better capacity of concentration during the game. Yes, I fully agree with Michael. We made a lot of mistakes and uh, forced mistakes. I think we. Thank you, uh, Owen. Slot at the back, please, in English. Uh, <coughs> Michael, um, you were, you were undone by a George Ford masterclass today. I wonder if you could give your opinion on his game today and do you think he's been a slightly underrated uh, fly half in the international scene? Look, I thought England managed the game very well. You know what I mean? They, 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 the game was very stop-start, exactly how they wanted it. And um, uh, Ford played the cards nicely in those scenarios. You know, the pitch is a little smaller. It's not the full distance, it's only 95, so you can take a shot from further out. And it, well managed, you know what I mean? So uh, full credit to them. They, they played the game really well. They, they managed the scenario. They didn't let us get any flow in our game. And, um, and Ford was a big part of that, not just through his kicking through, through at the poles, but also through his kicking in general play as well. You know, they, they landed some... So I think they won that battle. And uh, that's something that we'll need to fix up before we get to our next opponent, for sure. Thank you. Question at the front, please. William, um, in contrast to uh, November 22, when you guys were very, very disciplined, today you looked a little bit edgy. You lacked that little bit of discipline in the midfield. Do you put that down to perhaps maybe the lack of one or two warm-up games? What would you put down your edginess to today? It wasn't the usual directness that I'm used to seeing from Argentina. Yeah, you know, uh, in terms of of discipline is we can't compare like two years ago like every game and in the World Cup the the, the level goes up uh, so I don't want to speak about what happened last time we played there and now it's a different level but yeah in terms of discipline we need to be much more disciplined as the world said uh, great to England they were they were good in the in the breakdown but then we, we there were lots of mistakes that we did in in our own terms so yeah we need to go and take the opportunity not wait the opportunity to to present, uh, yeah, but you, you say it, we were as disciplined that we we should be, and most of those penalties were in our territory, so we let them start uh, putting score pressure. Uh, but yeah, lots of things to to improve. Now we have time. We need to look inside each other, stick together, and we have a game ahead. Thank you. Julian, Annie. acá. Tanto para Julián como para Michael, históricamente el seleccionado argentino se caracterizó por tener muy buen scrum y en el día de hoy, 7 versus 8, le generaron dos penales en contra en esa situación de juego. 
Primero, ¿qué explicación le encuentran justamente a que hayan conseguido dos penales en esa situación de juego cuando históricamente Argentina se destacó en, en esa formación? Y en segundo término, ¿qué te dijeron tus compañeros en Leicester al Argentina is really ronda, strong in the, the scrum. So how would you, you know, justify that there were so many mistakes made in the, in the scrum? And uh, Julian, what, what were the words of, of support you received regarding that game? In a scrum, for example, well, a mass party, regarding what happened in the scrum, the English were playing eight. So, Tulemi was on the side. So there were two penalties due to technical mistakes from us. One of the two were surprised because we were moving forward, we were going forward, and the decision to uh, decision from the referee, the decision of a penalty, I really didn't understand because we were uh, going forward. And six times we created a, a lineup for so five players and they formed a, a line of six and the referee didn't notice it. So there were some unclear situations at some point. And obviously we need to improve our scrum game if you want to improve other sectors as well. But I don't think we had some difficulties on the scrum in specifically. It was tough for us to dominate, clearly. But now I think that uh, the referees are whistling more technical uh, mistakes more than, than ever. And I think we need to adapt very quickly because things can change from one game to another. And my colleagues from Leicester say, said hi to me and asked me how I was, but we didn't really exchange with my mates from Leicester. The team from England is on its way. Thank you.